Hey yo, what is up guys? Akash here back with another video. A couple of videos back we took a look at Laura Van and some gateway powered by Dragino. So this is the gateway that we had seen a couple of videos back. We had connected to an Arduino node uh, to establish this type of connection. We had understood how uh, LoRaWAN gateway helps in connecting our LoRa based nodes which have a range of around hundreds of kilometers to the internet. So essentially the LoRa based nodes are uh, connected to the internet always using the LoRaWAN gateways. We'll be stepping our game up by a notch today. So for the gateway, we had a single channel gateway that time from Regino and Regino has sent us an eight channel gateway this time. And we'll be using this for today's video. So we'll be keeping this out of frame today. We'll be taking a look at some GPS trackers. We'll be building one GPS tracker with the Arduino today, connecting it to the Dragino gateway. And then we'll be taking a look at a ready-made GPS tracker, which is light and which is portable, which has an inbuilt battery. Uh, this is from Dragino as well. We'll be connecting this to the gateway and we'll be having fun with our LoRaWAN based GPS trackers. So stay tuned to the video if that seems interesting to you. It's Christmas time and PCB GoGo launches the greatest sale for the new year. During December, PCB GoGo will choose one lucky order every day which will be given free of charge. PCB GoGo is offering the biggest coupons for this year along with some surprise gifts with your PCB orders. If you're new to PCB GoGo, you can get a $50 off coupon. Do not forget to follow PCB GoGo on Twitter to enter their Christmas giveaways. Scan the QR code on the screen or head over to the link in the video description box below. First, we'll be taking a look at the gateway that we have and compare it to the gateway that we had previously. Both of these gateways are indoor gateways and are based on the same frequency band. This gateway is a single channel gateway, whereas this gateway on the right, which is the LPS8 from Dragino, is an eight channel gateway. This can handle eight nodes at one time. So this is better when you want more LoRa traffic on your network. And this is uh, what we will be using today. We, we have set this up uh, to the ThingSpeak platform. So as we had taken a look in the previous video, the gateway is connected to a server for data transfer through the internet. And we have connected this to the Things network. And then the LoRa part, the LoRa chip that is present in this gateway will be responsible for communicating with all the small LoRa nodes. In our case today, this one of these LoRa nodes will be a GPS tracker. So for the LPSA, the setup is pretty easy. Once we connect uh, the gateway to our router using an Ethernet cable, you can access its web portal as on the screen right now. I've connected the gateway to my Wi-Fi network and it shows over here as well. We have connected it to LoRa. We have connected it to LoRaWAN on the Things network as well. It's acting as a Wi-Fi access point as well. So the configuration page of this gateway online is pretty intuitive and it's very easy to set up. If we see at the console of the ThingSpeak network, the gateway is live and connected. It was last seen 22 seconds ago. It's connected right now. It's working on the frequency band that I have selected. And then there's some received and transmitted messages as well over here. If you want a detailed setup guide of this gateway with the things network do take a look at this video. Now we have four status LEDs over here. The first one is the power LED. It's on. And the third one is the internet LED. It's also on. The fourth one is the ethernet or the LAN port or the ethernet port uh, LED, it's off right now because we have connected this through Wi-Fi. This is when the Wi-Fi access point is active. So the gateway is on and it has a stable internet connection as well. So we can keep this at a side for now. Now looking at the GPS trackers that we'll be connecting to this gateway, both of them have a LoRa chip. This one has this Zigbee type format, which is an SX1276 module. So it's over there, it has a GPS uh, module as well and this this is a shield for an Arduino so there's no real wiring involved there are two jumper wires that you need to hook up here you need to remove the uh, jumpers from here there would be yellow jumpers over here when you buy this you'll have to connect two wires the wire from GPS RX goes to which is the orange one goes to digital pin 3 and the GPS TX pin which is the blue wire goes to digital pin 4 over here and that's about it you can also attach an external gps antenna over here if you want to i'll be using the internal antenna right now because already i am indoors and i'm not expecting a good gps 
receptance over here. Firstly, we need to program the Arduino for that head over to my GitHub repository linked down in the description box below. Head over to Arduino LoRaWAN GPS Tracker .ino, copy this code and paste it in your Arduino IDE. Then head over to your Things Network Console. You need to create an application. In the application, you can enter a unique application ID. You can enter some description if you want. And then you need to click the add application button. Once the application gets added, you need to head over to devices and register one device. Give a unique device ID to your device and generate a device EU and I, EUI and app key randomly and then hit the register button. Once this is done, you need to head over to settings and switch the activation method from OTAA to AVP. Once that is done, you need to hit the save button. From the device overview page, copy the device address, head over back to your Arduino IDE and paste your device address over here. Head back to the Things Network console. We need to copy the network session key and the app session key in the coded format. We'll copy the network session key from here and then we'll paste it in our Arduino IDE. Similarly, we need to paste the app session key in the Arduino IDE. Once that is done, you just need to connect the Arduino to your computer using the USB cable. Head over to Tools, select the correct COM port and just hit the Upload button. Once the code gets uploaded, we can open the serial monitor at a baud rate of 9600 and we'll start seeing some details wherein the Arduino will be transmitting some data to the Things Network. Head back over to the Things Network, open the application that we had created, head over to the payload formats, get back to the GitHub repository. From here, you need to open the Arduino GPS tracker payload code. You need to copy this and paste it under the payload formats in the application. Once that is done, you need to save the payload function. This payload function will be decoding the data received on the Things Network. We can now head back to devices. We do see that it's connected and it was last seen 10 seconds ago. It has two frames up as well. If we head over to the data tab, we'll see some data before applying the payload function. We saw some random data once we had applied the payload function. We can see that it shows some latitude, some longitude and a, a, a message T, TTN payload functions. So this can be customized according to the payload function and the code that we wrote in the Arduino. Right now, the device is not latched to the GPS satellites. It takes some time, but it does. Also, an external antenna on the GPS module always helps and keeping this directly under the open sky also helps in a faster gps satellite location tracking so this was it about setting up the arduino based gps tracker but again we see that this is a bit bulky and not a very aesthetically good looking device so for that dragino comes up with this so this is the dragino lgt 92 LoRa WAN GPS tracker. It has a similar structure in inside. It has a microcontroller. It has a LoRa chip. It has a GPS tracker. It comes inside this box. When you open this box, you see some details over here. These are some keys that are pre-coded into this. So you will have to keep the sticker. Along with this, it comes with some accessories like a USB cable, some watch straps, etc. So that is not needed right now. This GPS tracker can be programmed using this USB cable. You need to connect this USB cable over here and you can connect this side to a USB to serial converter like this and you can connect this further to your computer to code your GPS tracker. But there's no need of coding the GPS tracker if you just want to set it up with the things network. It comes already pre-configured on the front. We have a big SOS emergency button. When you press that an alarm goes on as a message to the uh, gateway. And from the gateway, we can read the that message on the things network. We have an LED indicator. So when we turn this on, the LED indicator has some uh, various color codes or lights that show its indication on the back. We have a sticker which says the frequency that this is built on. It says the LoRa WAN GPS tracker. Uh, we have nothing on this side. We have we have a reset button over here and we have a micro USB port. Again, we can program this using this micro USB port and we this USB port is also used for charging the device as this device has a 1000 mAh internal lithium ion battery. So it's 
entirely portable you can hang this anywhere there comes a strap in the box with which you can hang this wherever you want to to set this up we will need some ids one is the device eui that is written over here then we have the app eui the app key and the app session key to set this up we need to create a similar application like we did for the arduino gps tracker but this time in the applications when you go in the eui you need to remove the default UI and and enter the app UI that you will find on the box over here. Once you do that, you need to get back to the devices section. You need to create a new device, which we have already done over here. H here in the settings section, you need to enter the device UI uh, that you obtain from the box. Along with that, you need to enter the app key that is again present on the box. So once you enter these two keys over here, your device gets registered. Now, when we switch on this device, you see that we obtain a green light. For every blue light, we see that a message gets transferred. And as we see on the screen over here, we just saw it six seconds ago. And we see the blue light blink again. And we see the status over here. Here we go to the data tab. Right now, it's sending sub being online messages that we received just now and we received one message over here again once this device gets stable after around 10 seconds it'll start transmitting the actual gps coordinates as well but we need to decode those payloads as well so for that again we need to head over back to my github over there we need to head over to lgt92 gps tracker payload you can copy this payload and you need to paste this under the application payload formats you need to paste this over here so that your data gets decoded heading back over to the devices to see if the if we have received any useful data yet or not so there we go guys that's the first uh, message that we received we see that the alarm status is false because we haven't pressed the button yet we see the battery level voltage right now then we see the latitude and the longitude of the gps location caught by this gps tracker and then we see the mode which is set as move the move mode means that when the GPS tracker detects motion because of the accelerometer that's built into this GPS tracker, it will transmit the location and it will switch on then to save on battery the rest of the time when this device is stationary. We can change all the program and all the code in this device using the cable that's provided with this device. Let me know down in the comment section below if you're interested in something like that. So that's about it for today, guys, where we looked into the Dragino's 8 channel LoRa gateway. We connected this gateway to the Things network. Along with that, we took a look at two LoRaWAN based GPS trackers. This one's the Arduino DIY version which is for hobbyist, of course. You can uh, put your own code on this LG T92 as well. These are some awesome products from Dragino. All the purchase links for all these products will be in the description box below. Go ahead and check the products out. If you're wanting to get into LoRa networking protocol, Dragino is the place to be. They have a lot of options from uh, the beginner level single channel gateway to the intermediate level eight channel gateway and they have some really advanced high tech stuff as well if you want to know more about lora i've done a really long playlist all about lora do check that out from over here and that's it from my side for today thanks for watching subscribe to our channel if you haven't till now also hit the bell icon to stay notified this is our signing off